Hello everyone, Zach here, and I am coming back with a mod spotlight, which is taking place in my Let's Play, since I had to use this mod to do it, found it to be a perfect opportunity. So, this is the single player's command mod. I'm not going through all the commands, I guess I can go through some basic ones, but, now I'll do that in a different video. This is just going to be the wand command. So, if you guys want to know how to do that, I know I wanted to do it, but I had to find out myself, and I found out how to do it. So, what you need is, you need some sticks and some wood. I need to make some sticks. So, you get some sticks, you get your sticks, you get your wood, you put them together, you get an axe. So, you need your wooden axe. Um, I need a waste block. Dirt, 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 dirt. You will most likely need a waste block. Well, you will need a waste block unless you build, like, on a mountain or you want to cut or paste a mountain or move a mountain. I don't know what you want to do. So, here's my area. I'm going to move my house back a few blocks, I guess. Um, so it goes over there. It's an L shape here, but you can just copy over this area, too. So if you want to copy from right here, this corner, uh, you have to make it from right here. You get this level, and then you have to get it from, or just down one, actually. I haven't used this command forever, so I think that you have to copy from here. So you copy from there, and then from your one corner, and you have to go all the way to your other corner. But the thing is about this one is you can't just copy from down here, otherwise it doesn't give you the height. So you gotta go up, and then you gotta go here, and then you gotta go over. So it's over the corner where you did that one. So now you have this whole thing, and so you and you left click on the to make your first point and then you right click to make your second point Ugh. why is it not working work let me try something I don't know why it's not working maybe you have to be above it yep you have to be on the top of it I guess never, never knew that I usually just am on top of it because I'm usually using this in creative mode so now that you have that you can just go T to get into your uh, command line and do slash slash cut oh not right that would not help cut and now it's all gone and yes so let me actually fix up something real quick uh, undo so the second the second one is still gonna uh, stay there because I don't need to move that but I'm moving the first one up a block because I do not want the uh, the whole thing like the floor coming out and I like copying like on the corner actually get like a space in between just because that way I don't have anything on either side of it. So there you go and then you can just do T slash slash cut and then it cuts that whole area out. And it does it like differently where it pastes it all the time so you might just keep going T slash slash paste and un then undo it. So usually it's supposed to be like 5 and then to your right or something. Let's try it. C slash paste. See it went over this way. So... It, I have to stand like over here. T slash slash paste. And now it's still that way. It's a good way. But I just still need to back it up. So you can just do T slash undo again. Over here. T slash slash paste. Now I think this might be a good, good spot. Right around there. Not too close to this wall. Enough room back here on the sides. This looks like a good spot now. So, that is how you use the cut paste, but I'm also going to uh, introduce another command, I guess, for the clipboard. I guess it's called the wand, whatever. But, so if you wanna, you don't wanna face in this way, you have to copy it, but it's gonna be facing this way. Say you wanted it to, like, be an L shape that way. Well, what you do is, you know, T slash slash rotate, and then you do how much? Usually you'd wanna do 90 degrees. And then T slash slash paste. And then look now. Now which way is it facing? Now it's facing this way. So that's easy. And then if you want to turn again, you can do 45 degrees. It really doesn't matter what degrees you do, but it will always turn it in the clipboard before you do it. And you can always undo what you don't like. So remember that. There's a lot of doors here now. Um. But yeah guys, I just wanted to use this opportunity to show you guys how to use the wand tool since I couldn't find out how to do it when I first got the command and the command, the mod. So for you that just got it, 
here's some help for the wand tool. It comes in handy for big projects, small projects, or everything. And as the sun goes down, I wish you guys a happy day. And I hope you enjoy. Leave a like if you liked it. Check out my Let's Play of which this is taking place in. And check out my other videos, guys. Uh, try to get me more subscribers. I'd really appreciate it. And see you guys in the next video. Oh my god, that just came out of my house. You scare me. I just finished filming my mod spotlight for the wand command, the single player commands, if you watched it. And if you remember, at the very end, a skeleton came out of my house. He's somewhere out there. And I come in here, and I go over here, and I have a cave over here. This was not blocked. And I open it up, and this is what I get. Like, so many skeletons. Why does Notch screw me over like that? I have nothing to eat. Oh, wait. I can make some soup. Yay. So never mind. I can eat. Well, I, I just wanted to show you guys that. For what happens after you're done recording, bad luck. You don't get any luck. Just You just get screwed over by Minecraft. So, have a pleasant evening. Or day. Whatever time of day it is for you. Yes.